So Lynx is a revolutionary X-ray observatory with the power to completely transform our understanding of the cosmos through this unprecedented X-ray vision into the otherwise invisible cosmos, right? The hidden cosmos, the unseen universe. Now, Lynx is designed to pursue three fundamental science pillars that hold up this platform of discovery. Uh, so the first of these is seeing the dawn of black holes, right? The, the growth of black holes over almost literally all of cosmic time. Right? Uh, the second pillar is revealing what drives galaxy formation and evolution. Uh, and then the third is unveiling the energetic side of stellar evolution and stellar ecosystems. Vidicatal surveys write some of the most powerful words in all of astrophysics. Uh, this is because NASA and, to some degree, NSF are quite literally bound by law to follow the recommendations of the Decadal Survey. So for astronomy and astrophysics, uh, the Decadal Surveys have been run since 1960. They're run by the National Academy of Science every 10 years. Uh, they are run by a committee of illustrious, senior, brilliant, wonderful members of our community. Um, and they write the most powerful words in our field. So the Hubble Space Telescope was very much given life by the 1970 Decadal Survey. Chandra X-ray Observatory was a result of the 1980 Decadal Survey. Uh, Spitzer was 1990. The James Webb Space Telescope was given life by the 2000 Decadal Survey and on and on and on. So the Lynx concept study was formally started by NASA in late 2015, early 2016. But in reality, this has been the culmination of decades of dreams from so many scientists and engineers and programmatic experts around the world. So Lynx doesn't simply inherit Chandra's legacy and carry it forward. It does that, yes. but. It's not just an incremental advancement over Chandra, it is an orders of magnitude generational leap over Chandra, right? We're talking 50 to 100 times the sensitivity, 16 times the field of view, with subarc second PSF across that entire field of view, which is not true for Chandra, 800 times the survey speed, uh, 10 to 20 times the spectral resolution. So this is not an incremental advancement, it is a transformation. So the first thing you need to know about these great observatory class flagship space astrophysics missions is that they're huge, right? So Lynx is easily a lot larger than a, one of those large tourist bus you see going down the highway. Um, it, its launch mass will be about 13,000 pounds, right? So about 6,300 kilograms. So our plan is to launch Lynx in the latter half of the 2030s. Um, all of these four large mission concept studies, by definition, have five-year mission lifetimes. Um, so that is that is the sort of minimum lifetime of Lynx. But we have provisioned the spacecraft with enough consumables aboard for two decades of discovery without any servicing at all. That means without a single robot or human hand touching the spacecraft for two decades. Um, so we're looking at potentially multi-decade voyage of discovery for Lynx.